Hi, Bob Wilkins here again, this time for an update on lighting HO passenger cars using a string of new LEDs known as fairy lights. These lights have recently become available for decorative home and Christmas lighting. The LEDs are arranged in parallel formation on two wires creating a string of lights. The lights are polarity dependent having a positive and negative wire. They come in a variety of colors. The soft white LEDs are best suited for our purpose. These light emitting diodes are surface mounted gallium based LEDs roughly the size of a rice grain. The wires are insulated by a thin lacquer covering. The lights have a low voltage threshold of around 3 volts and fully illuminate at around 5 volts with 20 milliamps of current flow. Like all LEDs, they will burn out if subjected to high current. A string containing four LEDs will illuminate most HO passenger cars when spaced and adhered to the cabin roof with adhesive tape. The distance between the LEDs can be adjusted by curling the wires. Electrical power supply can be accomplished in several ways. Many passenger cars come with track pickup installed for use with older incandescent bulbs. Those that don't have wipers or copper collars installed on the metal wheels. This is described in Project 3 at our website. A third option is to use a low volt battery with a switch installed to turn the lights on and off. When using track electrical pickup, an LED driver lighting circuit does need to be interfaced between the track power source and the LED circuit to control the low current of 20 milliamps required for the LEDs to light. We have described how to make the LED driver unit in Project 3 at our website. Here we have set the components on a printed circuit board. This unit also functions to correct current flow when the direction of the train changes by means of a bridge rectifier. It avoids flickering by providing constant voltage using a capacitor and finally using a small integrated circuit chip to provide the limited 20 milliamps of current for the LEDs. Two terminal plugs have been added to simplify connection to the track electrical pickup via the green plug and the LED circuit via the blue plug. This circuit board arrangement, however, may be unsuitable, especially if cabin interior features are to be included in the passenger car. In this case, a more compact circuit can be made from the three individual components mentioned. Assembling this LED driver unit is described in Project 3 at, at the website modeltrainsounds.com. This project does, however, require soldering of the components. Here, the LED driver circuit board unit has been added to a disassembled Athian Amtrak passenger car. The wires of the fairy lights have been attached to the cabin roof using adhesive tape. Wires from the track pickup have been attached to the green terminal. The order here is not important. The LED circuit is attached to the blue terminal plugs. The positive side of the circuit must attach to the plug labelled with the positive sign. Before reassembly, always retest the circuit on the track to ensure that the LEDs light. In this case, the LED driver unit has been assembled from the three components for installation into the passenger car that has interior features such as seating and passengers to be added. Wires are soldered directly to the unit and the DuPont connectors are used to connect the unit to the track pickup. The unit is positioned into the cabin at one end with the seating installed 
and the lights are displayed here before attaching it, them to the roof. The third alternative, instead of using track pickup for power, is to use an onboard battery. These fairy lights use so little power that a small 3 volt quarter sized battery, such as a CR2032, can illuminate these LEDs continuously for several days. The battery is set into a low profile battery holder that is attached to the underside of the carriage, hidden from view using double sided adhesive pad. A micro switch has been soldered to the negative wire to enable turning the lights on and off. The connection wires are threaded through two holes drilled through the floor of the car and the battery holder is secured to the undercarriage. Some modification to the floor may be necessary to hide the battery holder from view. The fairy light circuit is attached either directly to these wires or by using the DuPont connectors to the pickup wires. The battery is turned on and the lighting is complete. Here a vintage streamlined HO passenger car shows a before and after photo with the battery set up installed. The battery holder is hidden by the lower side panels of this car. In another example, here the battery holder is much more visible. The car is illuminated with the on and off switch. The battery will illuminate the cabin continuously for up to 72 hours. Be sure to turn the lights off when not in use to conserve the battery. Here on the test track are the three versions of the fairy light system set up in three passenger cars. The leading car is using the circuit board and has electric pickup already installed via wipers. The middle car is using the onboard battery. The last car has the assembled LED driver unit with copper collars on the wheels for pickup and interior cabin seating along with passengers. The automatic stop module described in Project 17 is used here to stop the train at the station. You will notice that all the lights remain on when stopped since only the locomotive's power is off. Normally in DC mode, the stop would look like this with those carriages with track pickup having the lights off. Should you wish to try this project, three kits are available at our website listed under Projects 18 and 19. The first kit includes the components to assemble the LED driver unit, wires with DuPont connections, an option of standard LED lighting configuration, or a set of fairy lights for the LED circuit. All LEDs are soft white. With this kit, remember, soldering is required. A second kit includes the fully assembled LED uh, driver circuit board plus the fairy light LED circuit with four LEDs. 12 inches of connection wire to attach the track pickup and some adhesive insulation material to attach the board in the cabin. Both these kits require the passenger car to have a means of track electrical pickup. If needed, wheel sets with copper collars are also available for purchase separately. Check the size of the wheels before ordering. Most passenger cars use 36 inch size wheels which measure 1 cm to 7 16 of an inch in diameter when measured across the contact surface of the wheel with the track. The third kit is for installing a low profile battery with a switch to turn the power on and off. The fairy light circuit is included. No soldering is required as the con and connection wires are also included. The kit does not include the battery due to postal regulations on shipping lithium batteries. 
However, these CR2032 batteries are readily available and inexpensive. Instructions are included with each kit and are downloadable at the website. Thanks again for watching. Join us next time for more updates and new projects. And don't forget to subscribe.